Hey everyone, what's going on? Jeff here, and welcome to Cafe Owner Simulator. Now, this game I actually played the prologue, so we're jumping into it. I'm going to see if they fix the things I had some feedback on at the end of the game, which is like it took too long for to get customers sometimes, the, tu the tutorial was kind of confusing, but I've been looking forward to this game. My father was in the restaurant business for all his life. Every day after school, I would run into him at work and watch it how he ran his business. He was a strict but fair boss. Business was going very well. My father wanted to open a second restaurant in the neighboring town. Half of the money to open it had been raised, and he planned to borrow the other half from the local mafia. He had been friends with their boss since college. My father borrowed money and opened the second restaurant. Unfortunately, it turned to be unprofitable. For days on end, he searched for the reason for its failure, but never found it. Over time, his health declined and he ended up in the hospital. When he returned from the hospital, he began to go over all the bills that he needed to be that needed to be paid. He realized right away that he would not be able to pay them all. He didn't sleep for almost a week thinking about closing the business and retiring. The decision was made. My father sold the business, paid off the debts, and retired. It was my 26th birthday. We decided to celebrate in our favorite place. My father raised a toast to me and his retirement. Afterwards, he had an envelope. <clears throat> Excuse me. I opened the envelope and saw a check for $50,000. Now your dream is real, son. After these words, I realized my father knew throughout my childhood. I followed his work with burning eyes. I was extremely happy and decided to revive the family business. Now, for those of you that do know, I do love playing these simulators. They are usually a lot of fun. But like I said, I had some feedback at the end of the prologue I played months ago. I can't remember when I did it. I know it's on the channel. But I'm going to see if they uh, fix the things. I even filled out the little survey at the end. Monday, new day. Whoa, we're just going to start facing the sky. Welcome to Castle Lake. I hear you're planning on opening a restaurant and motel here. If so, that's good news. Our town doesn't have enough places to eat and have a good time. My name is Dry Owens. I'm the local sheriff. If you need any help, you can always call the police department. Good luck with your business and have a good day. Got it. Kind of remember some things. We got to go to the back. Oh, yeah, I don't have the rake equipped. Though. That's why we can't remove any leaves. We got to go and turn on the power to our fine, finish establishment. It's looking pretty good. I think the cafe actually looked different in the uh, prologue. We're going to look at that in one second. Let there be power. Now I know this thing is like, uh, I believe there's a homeless man that comes in, bothers you. There's uh, storms that happen. Yeah, I believe this. Yeah, this is definitely different than from what it looked in the uh, prologue. So that's pretty cool. Oh, we got sliding doors. Okay. Tools. You can find them in the tool store. Uh, open the inventory by pressing F. Okay. Clean up. We're going to clean up all this trash and then we're going to get started on hopefully getting this place up and running. We got 143 pieces of trash, apparently. Look at these little rats. How are we supposed to catch them? So I had to order trash be removal because when you're picking up stuff, it fills up your trash and he just, the trash man just comes and goes across the grass and gets your trash right. Whoa! Watch out, buddy. And I can pick up trash again. There we go. Okay. So something tells me we're going to have to order a couple trash removals. Right now, how much money do we have? $6,000. That costs like fifty. dollars just to remove that trash. Wow. Hi there. Whoa. These neighborhoods are inhabited by homeless people. Just like everywhere from time to time, you may visit your establishment to ask for money. Do, do harm or ask or sometimes just observe. It's up to you how you deal with them. Oh, he just ran away. Okay.
everything is clean. Now we gotta purchase a net at the tool store, which will be on here. $120, damn. And I purchased the mop just because I know we're gonna need it. Uh, net. Come here, buddies. Gotcha. Gotcha. There we go. Now we gotta restore everything broken. Look at the little kitty. Hi. Oh, little kitty. Okay. We gotta restore everything that's broken. No. Oh, I forgot. This is kind of very tedious in the beginning. When you're first setting up your shop. The crazy part is when these things break, you gotta replace them because there's storms that roll through. Congratulations, your restaurant has been upgraded. You can reward money, has been deposited in your account. Your table features, okay. So when you upgrade, you can, or level up, you get new more reward money and stuff like that and unlock new things, cool. Well, there's trash up here. Hello. To turn on the outdoor lights, set the lights to turn on automatically. Go to tab one in my restaurant. Okay. My restaurant. Lights automatic. Okay. Sure. Still pretty dark though. Hello? Good afternoon. I haven't eaten for three days and haven't had a drink. I want to I want to buy food and buy a bottle of vodka. Your trash can is empty. I didn't find anything here. Give me $50. Someday I will come back and return the money to you. Okay. There you go.
Okay, so I have opened the restaurant. I might have done a time lapse. I just kind of, I just kind of went through with it just to get through the beginning tutorial stuff. Didn't know how I wanted to situate everything over here. Uh, we do have a worker working the kitchen table because we had to hire one. And yeah, here's everything else. Uh, kind of have an extra outlet right there because for some reason I thought the kitchen table needed one. But here's our walk-in fridge. I not sure how I feel about the lights. The lights are so. So very bright. The only downside is if we want to move anything or get rid of anything, we have to close the restaurant, which right now I need to serve five customers, so I'm not doing that. And it looks like we got one. And then we got two porta potties out here because we don't have any other potties. Uh, it's been raining nonstop for like the last 20 minutes. And we got all these puddles. So I assume I get to take this guy's order. Hello, how can I help? Uh, hi. One second, sir, I'm new. You want a pepperoni pizza? So I go over the pizza. Pepperoni. There we go. It'll be right up. This was our best worker that I could find. They had good motivation, good at pretty much everything. There's green trash can inside the establishment. Occasionally your visitors throw trash here. Okay. Hello. Mashed potatoes. Oh, now we can do one order at a time, so you're going to have to wait. I'm sorry. You actually look like a chef yourself. You are a chef. Visitors can leave footprints. Yeah, okay. You kind of left a footprint right there. Whoa, we got rats. Hell no. Uh, so. I'll take this. Ooh. Got you some pizza, dude. There you go. Okay, you want mashed potatoes, which would probably be under other? There you go. Such a weird order just to order some mashed potatoes, but you know. I don't judge. Oh. You leaving? Okay. Sorry about that. Some of the tutorial, it actually was a little bit difficult trying to find some things like uh, adding stuff to the menu. You have to click on the item to drag it over, which I did not know that. Natural disasters such as tornadoes and hurricanes. Oh no. I think we're in the middle of a hurricane right now. Run, kitty. Oh, hell no. What that guy left. Oh, he left me a tip. Thank you. Ready, got the mashed potatoes. There you go. As our restaurant's falling apart. Sushi, Philadelphia. It'll be right up, my dude. No. Oh. There we go. And yet, I heard a multiple windows break. Unless that was, uh... Oh, uh, it's such a mess out here. Yes, these things. Just doing a quick run around. In the simulators, it's always very tough early on. That order is ready because it's just you, pretty much, doing everything. Bye bye. Oh, money. And trash. That's nice. Uh, you want your sushi? There you go. Level it up. We got money and new tablet features and equipment. Thank you. Mashed potatoes. There you go. It is non-stop raining. I don't know why it's been... I've been recording now for 33 minutes. Trying to get this place cleaned up and do the tutorial. And it's been non-stop raining for at least 25, probably. That's our it's not done yet, so I gotta wait. Uh, let me get this. You gotta maintain a clean establishment because that's what guarantees what customers will keep coming in. 
I think it's daytime. Oh yeah, it's 1921. Okay, so it's evening now. My lights should be coming on. We got logo. It's cool. Um, uh, my restaurant. Yeah, I have the lights coming on at 1600. We we'll put them on at 2000. And then they're gonna be on. They'll turn off at six. I think I did that right. Hey guys, oh, sorry. Money, 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 money. Uh, Sushi Philadelphia. Right there. Whoa, my eyes just got very watery. But I'm having fun. I'm enjoying this game so far. I like showing off these types of games to you guys. Uh, yep, sorry, guy. I know, I'm a little slow right now. What I was going to show is the menu. In order to get stuff, you got to drag it over like that. We can't because the restaurant's open. But I was trying to click those dots, which would actually make a lot more sense to me. But you got to you gotta click this right here and just drag it over, which works. Thank you. There you go. You've successfully completed your training and are now ready to start working and developing your restaurant. We've already transferred $200 to your bank account. Okay, thank you. Serve 20 customers? Got it. There are no place for customers to sit down. Yeah, that's because the tip was on the table. So now that we got... We only got $2,888. We started with six k Damn. Uh, let's look at our... Oh, yeah, we got to close the store to do that. We'll close it for now. Guys, come on. No courtesy. No courtesy at all. Yeah, I know about the homeless. Be back. I already gave him $50. What do you want? Hey. Okay. Uh, let's go to our store. Store, store, store. Furniture. Four seater would be nice, but it's also more expensive. I only want to get a couple more tables for now. Did you really just break my window? Dude, I gave you $50 earlier. Oh, hell no. Oh, I wish I had a BB gun. That would teach him. Wow. I I'm at a loss for words. One there. There we go. That should be enough for now. Because we got to build our money up. Hello, how are you doing? You want mashed potatoes? God, yeah. To make more orders at once, buy more kitchen tables and hire employees. Oh, so I need another one of these. Huh. How much is the kitchen table again? Which I can't look at. Not worried about right now. 20 customers shouldn't be too bad. Oh no, we got cockroaches. Uh-oh. Uh. Give me that. Uh, one sec, guys. I'm, I'm serving your food, so don't worry. Who wanted the pizza? You did. There you go. Working for tips right now. A uh, lasagna. See, lasagna, I always put it under pasta. But it's under other. That's one thing I didn't really understand fully. Well, I guess it's not really pasta. If you think about it. When you think pasta, you think noodles. Sorry, I'm spraying around your food. Hey, kitty. 
Good afternoon, my name is Inspector Lewis, and I periodically come to check on the fire safety measures because the safety of your visitor comes first. We require that you have three minimum working smoke detector detectors for each medium sized room. Check your smoke detectors periodically. Okay, that's kind of cool. So we uh, got a five out of five, and we have no fine. Awesome. Hey, hey! Why? I gave you money! What are you- Ooh. This guy, I swear. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I swear I'm gonna do something. Um. Hi, this is Sheriff Dry Dry's Owens. Did you hear about the news about the horrible monster that's roaming around? Go cool, say they've seen a monster that looks like Bigfoot. They're getting a lot of calls about missing cattle. Also, there's missing Alan Williams. His wife says he went hunting in the woods and never came home. The mayor promised his reward about the monster's whereabouts or his picture or a reward of $2,000. If you can get a picture of him, send it to us. Take care. Um, okay, so apparently there's a monster lurking about. Oh, well, I'm sorry, you're mad. No monster? That's different. There you go. Additional work. Upgrade your restaurant to receive additional orders. Through. Okay, yeah, probably now I gotta do additional stuff. We're actually gonna close the restaurant for now. We got an email. Hi, I saw your ad in the Cake Castle Lake Post. My wife and I are planning to open a cozy cafe on the outskirts of town, but don't know where to start. We need your help. We need to take out the trash, make repairs, and furnish interior. Can you help? Oh, they have jobs? That's awesome. We're not gonna do it right now. This is actually gonna be the end of the episode. Uh... Definitely went a little bit faster with the intro stuff than it did in the prologue. Because with the prologue, it felt like things just, uh, they dragged things out and they were so long in between customers. But with this, it was a little bit faster. I can't wait to change out these lights because these are so bright. But, uh, it's a lot of fun. I'm, I'm actually enjoying it. It's more relaxing game than other simulators typically. Uh, haven't had any rain since we had that long rain outing earlier and it's gonna be a little bit faster when i can get another table on here because we can only serve one customer at a time or make one order at a time which is very slow but if there's interest i will do more of these videos if not i might stream it but i would definitely continue playing it either way even if i have to play it in my downtime but yeah had a lot of fun and, and i hope you guys enjoyed oh no we got more cockroaches uh let's get the spray Come on. But yeah, that's it for today. Let me know what you think down in the comments down below. And until next time, remember to change that world one smile at a time. You never know whose life you could say you were changed. And as always, I can't wait to see you in the next live stream or video. Love you guys. Again, thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate you guys more than anything in the world, especially if you made it this far into the video. Up over here, we got your most recommended video just for you. Down over here, make sure you subscribe and come back for more. As always, I can't wait to see you in the next video, and I look forward to reading your comments. Love you guys.